Hello everyone, my name is Umu and I am React to the K's channel creator. Hello everyone, I am Sean, React to the K's channel arranger and host of Classical Composer Breaks Down the K. Welcome to our third eye, yes sir, reaction. I hadn't heard them that much I felt all before this year, but then I heard Queen and was really and really liked it. So I'm excited to hear what they've done. I've heard one or two previews for Yes Sir, so I kind of have a general sense of the aesthetic. So just from the teaser photos that I saw, um, this seems like it will have like a badass marching band esque concept. So I'm like I'm really excited. I never was in marching band. Um, I went to a school with that didn't have a football team, but I have many friends who did participate in marching band and drum corps, and I went to see their games. I really wish that I was I experienced that in high school, um, but I did not. But like it's so cool to see this marching band aesthetic appear in so many K-pop songs like AT's Wonderland, BTS on Blackpink ha kind of had a marching band aesthetic with Kill This Love, uh, Twice. What was it called? <laughs> Not French fries. What? Twice French? F no, 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 no. Twice fanfare. Twice fanfare. Twice fanfare. English subtitles are on. Let's get it. Three, two, one. Yep. There's the marching band. Ooh, we're in the minor. Phrygian mode? I think I heard it. Lower two. Oh, it didn't come back. I like the programming of that sin. Yeah. I like their voices sit fairly deep. Nice change! Rhythmically synth instead of brass. Do we have some strings doubling the synth brass? Yeah, sort of a quasi brass like sound. It might have they might have to be using like synth horns in there. But it's like just harmonic change. It's a nice development of sound because we started with all these dark noises and then we moved to a higher range and now the course is a combination of those two. Okay, that is pre or sorry, post chorus. Yeah, do you hear that? Nice. Whoop. Oh, cool. Oh. 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 Nice. Yeah. Is that a Barry Sachs down in the bass for a moment? It's there! Like hit more of the blues notes. Bridge? The catchy repeating of vocals. Oh, we even have a Barry sax in here. Uh, alto sax and Barry. And one last go. Yeah, I'm trying to get a flutter tongue effect. I don't think... I was trying to figure out whether they'd gotten an actual flutter tongue in there, but I think they just did a tremolo effect. Flutter tonguing is where, well, Okay, there are two ways to do the flutter tonguing. One is basically doing a tongue rolled R. Um, my tongue doesn't do that, so I can't demonstrate it. Uh, the other way is to do it with the throat, sort of, and then just do that while you're blowing the air through the instrument. So you're getting 
the instrument's tone, but with that sort of tremolo effect of... It's a semi-common technique on various wind instruments, but I think especially brass. I think it's a little bit easier on brass because... Well, brass and flutes, because you don't have a reed in your mouth. Okay, moving to Zoom with Sean. With computer audio, turn on video, get myself centered in the screen, hello. Wow, that was like a little, that was a little song. That was a little tune. You should be a songwriter. <laughs> this song had some really nice moments. Yeah. What yeah. were your, your favorite parts? I thought, I liked how much they kept like the snare drum going throughout. Mm. Um, like even, like even when it switched to the much sort of comparatively softer, more harmonic pre-chorus, like it was still going. Right. Um, with full snare pattern, and then obviously the like the more just harmonically, just like bunch of tonic, and I mean moving like no notes moving on either side. Chorus and pre and post chorus obviously had the big sort of marching band sound. I also thought it, they did a good job blending some very electronic bass synths that are also bright but not exactly brass, um, with the more like brass like synths. Mm -hmm. And um, also, I feel like they layered in either strings or sax, because the sax did appear yes. in the chorus, but yeah. when the brass did hit, I heard some extra textures in there too. Yeah, yeah, there was a, I was pretty sure there was a berry sax at certain spots in the chorus. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there were other saxes in there. Right, um, right. And there was yeah. also like a, an alto that went like, did it, did it, did it, did it, like a little, like a tiny bluesy line at the okay, end. Okay, that was, uh, that was okay. I, I heard that line and I wasn't, I thought I'm it was. I'm guessing it's an alto. I am not an okay, expert. Okay, <laughs> I, I wasn't sure. Like, I think the first time I heard it, I thought it was an electric guitar. And then the second time I heard it, I thought it was just a synth. And so I really never came to, like, I didn't have a conclusion on what I thought it was. Yeah, I think my favorite moment was definitely the post-chorus where the it was like a dance break and I really liked the yeah. programming on the synth where it, like, it would hit and then it would like subdivide yeah. really quickly and then it would go yeah. back to hitting. Yeah, then, I was, I, I thought that that was supposed to be like flutter tonguing. Right. <laughs> um, and for like when I, th I think when I first heard it in the preview, I was wondering whether they'd actually gotten either someone to flutter tongue or just gotten a sample like, I'm sure sample libraries have flutter tongued samples. Like, I'm sure fancy ones have that. Mm -hmm. uh, but then afterwards, I realized, and I think they just stuck a tremolo on it, so it just repeated very quickly, and it kind of got that effect. Yes, there's there's a button on synth thing for that, <laughs> where it goes just like, <laughs> which yeah. I really enjoyed. And then I love the change in the second course, where we had that pitch, it went, pew, 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 and then it went, yeah. pew, 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 pew. Yeah, yeah, there was some nice sounds. I think also at the start of the second verse, there were some nice slidey sounds. Mm -hmm. um, and then just that, I think in all the course, there was a da, 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 which mm. I'm guessing was sort of, I mean, I, most, most brass you can bend if you set your mind to it, but like it could, I'm guessing it was supposed to be at least like a trombone, like they were doing da, oh, da, da, that. da, da. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, here, let me find. Oh, uh, that. I was just like, oh, that's synth. I didn't even connect it to uh, acoustic instrument sound. Yeah, it may have been. I mean, it, it, I'm pretty sure it wasn't a real instrument, and I don't know. I, w I was kind of, I think just with the sort of marching band framework, I was tending to associate sounds with mm. brass instruments. So, like, it felt kind of like a trombone part. Um, Could be easily changed into a trombone Yeah, part. Yeah, this would be fun to do, like, a like a brass and snare drum cover of. Mm-hmm. Okay, a, a drum um, corps should pick this up and yeah. use it in a show. <laughs> yeah, or once people are back at school, it'd be fun to arrange. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if that ever happens. Um, um, I don't know. For it throughout, I would definitely start off really excited, but I, I think because the vocal lines in the chorus stayed in the same range, stayed in the yeah. same timbre, and because we had so much droning of tonic, I didn't. The energy let didn't keep up for me. That that's true. Yeah, I feel like they needed to change it more in the later, like by the last chorus and post chorus, it needed more changed. That's what I love about Queen, is that because we have the time signature change to triple, the energy yeah. does continue and keeps you really engaged. Yeah. I would have loved if they went like double time in the last chorus or added in extra subdivisions, added in a lot of extra instrumentals and just made it a lot more grand. Yeah, I agree. I think that would have that would have helped that out. Um, 
Yeah, because with Queen there were... I mean, also, like, I think in the bridge it was starting to switch really quickly between duple and triple divisions mm -hmm. of Queen, and yeah, there were more... Th this had this had some good elements of keeping, like, some things consistent while changing textures, but yeah, I think it needed some larger changes, or... I guess Queen was also a fairly harmonically static chorus, like, moving in the pre-chorus. Mm-hmm. But it's just like the rhythmic variance. Yeah, just like the switch that. to the the compound. Da, 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 yeah. It occurs to me that's not going to sync up uh, between us. That sounded <laughs> really okay. good on my <laughs> side, but. <laughs> but yeah, overall, like I just wanted to let Third Eye fans know that Queen will be reacted to on our classical yeah. musicians react series. Like Sean said, when people go back to school, um, <laughs> not 100% sure when that's going to happen, but we have it on our list because we, we run songs by like a, a voting panel made up of the classical musicians reactors who have graduated and those who like don't react on the series too much. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see the reactors reaction to Queen. And this was, yeah, this was a solid comeback. Third Eye has the shit. They have it. And I'm <laughs> yeah, they they they've got something great, and I'm excited whenever they do release new music. Woo! All right, thanks for watching, guys. We will see you later. Bye. Bye.